Hello everybody, I'm High Treason and I've just finished something uh, that's pretty interesting. You see, I have my original Sound Blast now, it's installed in the machine at the minute for testing and stuff. I ain't got any CMS chips for it yet, I could probably have afforded them, but I'm like, hey, this 286 is like a kick-ass machine, I've put a lot of work into this. And it's an 80s computer, so it's like, well, what did we do in the 80s? We couldn't afford sound cards, and not that many existed, so you used to build your own. So I've just done that. Um, it's based on the design by Mr. H of Triton, but his design and his circuit diagram, which looked more like a half-baked logic diagram, was a piece of shit, if uh, I do say so. So if you're watching Mr. H, yeah, your design sucks. So basically I've, like, taken your design to pieces and built it my own way, because I seriously doubt yours would have even worked. Um, you know, I'm very doubtful that you even built one. Uh, now, um, that's my device here. Uh, there's nothing that complicated going on. We can switch between stereo and mono. You can hear it's making a pop because there's 12 volts power. That switches between pin 1 and 14. And those are just indicators of uh, the channel switching. They're not very informative. Uh, there's supposed to be another 8 LEDs for uh, which bits are in use at any given time. There's 8 bits, it's a parallel interface that just you see the grey cable there goes to uh, I don't know whether my camera will reach but that just goes to the parallel port on the uh, ass end of that machine the you can see I've got a voodoo card in there it's a piece of junk uh, I'll find my little screwdriver real quick and I'll uh, take the lid off and let you have a look inside the uh, device there's not much in there uh, it's very simple it'll make you realize how much uh, sound card manufacturers are uh, ripping you off sometimes uh, I mean uh, you can build a, a mono one of these out of uh, nothing more than about 30 different resistors but uh, you know nonetheless uh, you know that would probably cost you less than five pounds but this one has cost me about ten really most of the cost went into making it look half decent um, it's not very expensive at all. It's very cost effective if you've got an old computer and it, this will work with laptops. You can run it on 9 volts, uh, so give it a 9 volt battery. So that's, as you can see, there's not a lot at all in there. There's just two little chips, uh, a DAC and an op amp. That's basically it. Um, the DAC is a PM7528 originally made by Analog Devices. Uh, mine's unbranded. Now they end up with text instruments and the op amp is an LM324. It's a quad operational amplifier, so we're wasting half of it. Uh, yeah, basically that's all that's in there. It's not that interesting. I've just finished making that. My soldering iron's still quite hot. I mean you can hear the tss off of that, but uh, yeah, I went over and burnt my hair on it before, so my kitchen now smells pretty bad. Uh, while I bought that one, I'll start the computer up. So that's going to start up. I want it in DOS mode only. Uh, come on. See the lights on it there are both on at the moment. Uh, that all change, I don't doubt, as the machine warms up. Uh, good thing about these, they don't require any drivers. Just look up LPT DAC on the internet and uh, you'll probably get a good instruction on how to build a mono one. Uh, it's not really that complicated at all, so... You know, I'm just making this video right now. I'm not going to edit or anything. This is just because I'm quite pleased with what I've I've done here. A very minimal amount. Have I put that lid back on the wrong way? I have, haven't I? I tell you what, I'll leave the lid off for tonight. So I would like to eat some supper and get myself to sleep. So basically, I'll just leave that alone for now. Is anyone in the arm there? Is it? Right now. Yeah. Uh, metal around with this thing so uh, um, uh, should I switch to that screen probably um, now I'll tell you there's something wrong with the stereo on here at the moment 
so uh, we, that's not working the way it should and uh, yeah but it, it's not a major problem I think I know what it is I've had some issues while building if you'd like a circuit diagram you want to build your own, uh, ask me and I shall draw you up a new one. I have an existing one but I didn't add certain details in because I it was only for me so I could remember them and there's a couple of mistakes on it. But let's give this thing a go. So as you can see we're uh, set up for sound player uh, no sampling device uh, whatever that's not important really but that's interesting we can do that even though it's only 8 bits and stereo is ticked we've uh, maxed out the sampling frequency I'm not sure we should do that so we may as well open something uh, let's try uh, know, what should we play with I've kind of got this stuck in my head at the moment I think the stereo's working. So it's not perfect, but I'm in. No, it's uh, it's back. You can probably tell it's not healthy. But that device is. It's going for <laughs> a bit more complicated. There we go. This What's happened to my little readouts? There we go. Now you wouldn't get these results out of a really old computer because it's quite demanding to do this on a parallel port. So you'd have to really turn things down. But the point is you can do it. So like I say, if you've got an old 286 laptop like I have, I've got to repair it because the floppy disk drives bust. They won't boot at the moment. Um, man, that does need a lot of repair actually, I'm not saying it. But once we get it going, I can use it with that as well. Um, you know, this is great. I can just put it on any machine that I want. Even that thing there, it'll work. That's got a parallel port. If we can get direct access to that, it's it'll run. It'll run on Linux. It'll run on anything. No drivers required, really. second then. Yeah. Well I suppose I'll uh, play you like uh, one more tune on this thing just to say it's kick assness while I point out some mildly interesting things. Um, oh, now let's me have a look at this. Go for that one. This mouse keeps packing up. Now, here's an interesting thing, uh, Crystal Dream 1 will not run on the original Sound Blaster at all. I have tried it in many machines now, it does not work. I could be screwing the lid back on while I'm talking. Pardon me. So, um, we should be able to run it on this. Now, I've given it a quick test, and uh, like I say, I'm having some problems with the stereo. But that's another thing I want to bring up, is Triton's coding for the audio, it leaves a lot to be desired. And to be honest, their mod files do as well, because half of his chords are off key. Um, you know, I'll be honest, I've always thought Crystal Dream was overrated, but I did a recording of the first one, I want to do a recording of the second one now. Uh, here's the thing, you might tell me that it's going to be of lower quality because of my crappy box. 
But the point is, that's all you can really run the demo on in the real world, unless you're very lucky. I got it to run on a machine with an R32 plug and play once. By chance, it never done it again. And it never done it before. I don't know why it did it that day. Um, so this is what the demo would have sounded like back then, or uh, at least uh, when we were playing Mothfile from it. This is from There's a Dream on the Amiga. But, um, you know, that's something to bear in mind. And that's what I go for, is accuracy. That's why I always want to use the real hardware. And this is what most people had anyway. Nobody could afford sound blasters and stuff. Now that resistor thing I told you about, uh, Curvox sold it for $79.99 in the 80s. For some of that was worth less than, worth less than five pounds. It's absolutely ridiculous. And that still happens now. Did you know M Audio's uh, cards used the Via Envy 24 chip with a sticker on it saying M Audio? You can buy an Envy 24 for about five pounds now. They're, they're worthless. M Audio will charge you 80 for it. I think my stereo's broken again. It's a long video of nothing, this, isn't it? I'll play one more file because I can't be bothered to play stop yet and I'll just fade out at a random point. <laughs> 